Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you two different methods on how to use a game guardian right here with a no root required, without a root. So there will be two different methods. The first method is what you're seeing me do right here. I'm using an emulator. Emulators can usually be rooted by simply pressing one button. However, I'm not going to do it right now for demonstration purposes, of course. There will be links in the description to all the apps that you need and also to the best emulators to use for this if you decide to do so. Now, if you do not want to use an emulator and want to do this on your actual Android, this is the app you need. Virtual Space or any other um, container app that allows you to clone other apps into it, such as Go Multiple or many, many others. But Virtual Space is highly recommended because it has been optimized to work with Game Guardian, or rather, Game Guardian has been optimized to work with it. So, Game Guardian, you can download the link in the description. Virtual Space, you can actually find on the Google Play Store. All right, Virtual Space, that is the app you need. Uh, and of course, the Google Play Store, if you can download it there, it's always best because it's definitely not infected in any way if you're getting it there. So, what is Virtual Space? Virtual Space allows you to create a container, okay, that contains apps. And those apps will essentially have super user access within that container, okay? I recommend you only use this on single player games, but if you must try it on multiplayer games, don't use it on your main account, okay? You will probably get banned, so be very careful. Now, of course, Game Guardian will um, create a, a cloned app that has a random name to, to avoid detection by multiplayer games, and you're going to want to clone this Game Guardian app into your container, all right? The second thing you're going to want to do after that, just confirm that stuff, yes, whatever. Um, the second thing you're going to want to do is clone the game that you're trying to hack. In my, in my case, we're going to hack Tiny Miner. We're going to clone that in there as well. And yeah, that's good. So now you have both these apps in your virtual container. And I'm just going to move this down so that you can see this is our virtual space. Both these apps are in here. Now, what we need to do is we need to have both these apps running, of course. Start a new game. And here we are. No, we don't need the tutorial. All right. So what you're going to want to do now, of course, is find something that you can hack, such as the money right here. And this is where you can basically go to my other Game Guardian tutorials. Um, you can tell that we are in virtual space uh, by there only being three processes available to hack in Game Guardian. Okay, that's how you know I'm not using normal Game Guardian with a rooted device. So, you connect to Tiny Miner and you do your usual thing, okay? I know this is a D word value, I know it's 300, and we're gonna start a new search. Search is done, we have scanned for 300, we're gonna change the value in game in order to narrow down our list of values. Currently, we have, well, too many values, <laughs> so let's narrow down that search a little bit. 285, refine. And we are left with one value. We're going to change that to 999,999,999. There we go. Yes. And as you can see, it works perfectly, perfectly. Oh, isn't it marvelous? Isn't it marvelous, my friends? We have successfully hacked a Android game. And oh, oh, I, I went for too high a value, which is, which is why we have spilled into negative right now. Yes. Okay, there we go. That's how you hack. Android games uh, using uh, no root, without a root, and uh, yeah, everything else should work as well. Speed hacks, scripts, and so on. Again, guys, uh, not recommended to use on, on online games, okay? Online games will probably not work through container apps, since they have to uh, connect to the Play Store, and they have to connect to online servers, and so on. So, uh, best not to try, B but if you must try, try on a secondary account and uh, try on an emulator if at all possible, okay? Just to be safe. 
Anyways guys, so if you've been looking for mods and hacks for mobile games recently on Google, you may have noticed that there is basically only scams, uh, cheats that do not exist, such as unlimited money for online games, which we all know is just as impossible as getting unlimited money on your bank account. <laughs> There's lots of weird stuff, weird spam in Google right now. And uh, yeah, if you're, if you're using Google to actually find your mods and cheats, you're probably going to get malware and it's not going to be a fun experience, which is why you should use HackerBot because HackerBot offers you a nifty little tool that only scans legitimate websites with a proven track record of delivering good and working cheats that are clean to their users to find whatever you want. Mods, hacks, cheats, bots, whatever, everything. So the way this tool works is you head over to HackerBot, you can just simply Google HackerBot and uh, go to the website. Then you can just head over to the tool from there by simply clicking the find free cheats icon right here and this is the tool now what you're going to want to do here is enter the name of your game then the platform that you're playing on so PUBG mobile for example on android and then the current version to find up-to-date mods hacks and cheats and scripts and so on this is also a very good tool to find um game guardian scripts as well that you can just simply import into game guardian and use basically as mod menus in your mobile games on Android. So, uh, the current version in the case of PUBG Mobile is 0.19.0. The way you can find out is down below if you don't know how to find out the game version. Um, in this case, we're, we got the game version from the Play Store page the, on the current version. So, that's how that works. After that, you can simply uh, play, press search and you will find legitimate mods from legitimate websites and also oh, game guardian scripts as you can see here very very similar to the video that we're actually doing right now anyways guys that's how you find legitimate cheats that actually work of course um these cheats are not quite as cool as unlimited money on your bank account and unlimited money in all of your games uh, which is impossible <laughs> sadly it would be nice but uh, at least these cheats are real anyways head over to hackerbot.net for your legitimate cheats needs <laughs> anyways guys thanks you guys for watching if you want to help me fight these spammers and scammers with their human human verification scams and fakes uh, give this video a like uh, comment down below let me know which cheats you're looking for and i will see you guys next time